I'm Jim Cunningham. I'm here with the VP GM of Tank Management, Tom McDowell. Tom, how are you? Good. What is Thank this you. huge product right here? Well, this is uh, a detonation flame arrester that has been designed and certified to the U.S. Coast Guard certification, which governs flame arrestor applications in marine terminal applications. Okay, so Tom, what is a flame arrestor and how does it work? Well, flame arrestor is a passive safety device that protects facilities and personnel when volatile vapors ignite, combust, and can potentially damage facilities. Uh, there are many types of flame arresters and uh, they're all used in circumstances where vapors can ignite and, and potentially damage facilities. This particular unit is a 24 inch detonation flame arrester, a DFA. And if you remember your primary school uh, science class, there's a uh, combustion triangle where you need oxygen, you need fuel, and you need heat to create a combustion event. Well, a flame arrester uh, takes a flame front as it propagates down the pipe, and when the flame front hits the flame cell, which is at the heart of the flame arrester, it disperses the flame and takes away the heat, thus quenching the flame. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this particular flame arrester looks like it's seen better days. Yeah, indeed, indeed. This one uh, is the very unit that was subjected to third-party testing for the U.S. Coast Guard certification. Uh, this unit has experienced multiple detonation events, multiple closed-end pressure test events, as well as a extended burn event where there was a uh, extended burn put right on the face of the flame cell and over time uh, the the paint and you know the the unit was was damaged by that extreme condition um, and this unit was able to withstand up to 15 minutes of an extended burn which would give the operator uh, time to shut off that condition and protect the facility wow that's awesome stuff uh, yeah, folks i know you're going to want more information and you can always find it at emerson.com thanks Tom.